we're interested in having a portable um, brain imaging device that could be used in the intensive care unit so that you could uh, watch what happens in infant brains while you're changing different things about your, the care for the infants. One of the main benefits of the optical tomography imaging approach is that it's something that may be the size of a small refrigerator or perhaps a microwave that can be moved around into intensive care units. And so that means that we can bring neuroimaging to the subject instead of having to take, re, you know, move the subject to the neuroimaging device. So that has sort of clear utility in any of the intensive care units and a, and a variety of other sort of situations where you really can't get the, the subject into a fixed scanner environment. Most of the care for infants, um, premature infants, is sort of geared towards making sure that the lungs are okay or other parts of the you know, sort of system, systems and organs in the body are okay. Um, and when alterations or therapy changes are made, um, it's not always known what's happening in the brain as a result of some of those therapeutic um, interactions. There is a limit to how deep we can image into the brain. And so for infants, we potentially can scan the entire brain, whereas for adults, will probably be restricted to scanning, for instance, the cortex or sort of the outer shell of the brain, if you will. You know, in a way, the infants are a, a match for the imaging capabilities of optical, um, and they also, there's also an imaging need there.